Loreto Prague is one of the most famous of the Marian sites in the Czech Republic. It is a stunning replica of the Holy House of Loreto, Italy. The shrine was consecrated in 1631 and became a popular place of pilgrimage. It is a simple, stone-walled building and has a copy of the statue of Our Lady of Loreto inside. As time evolved a church was built surrounding the Holy House, the Church of the Nativity, which was consecrated a little over 100 years later, in 1737. As a result, the shrine is located in the middle of the courtyard complex between the church and the cloisters, surrounded by six chapels. The Chapel of Saint Anne, with a side altar of Saint Lawrence, the Chapel of Saint Francis Serafinas with a magnificent painting of the stigmata of Saint Francis, the Chapel of the Holy Family, also called the Chapel of Saint Joseph, the Chapel of the Holy Rood, the Chapel of Saint Anthony of Padua and the Chapel of Our Lady of Sorrows. In the tower of the church is a 27 bell carol on that plays the Loretan Marian song a thousand times we greet thee every hour from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. The treasury consists of a rare collection of liturgical objects from the 16th to 18th centuries, the most famous of which is the Prague Sun, a monstrance encrusted with 6,222 diamonds. They started construction of the site in 1626, and they blessed the church in 1631. Fifty years later, the main church and pilgrimage site were surrounded by cloisters. Subsequently, in 1740, they added an upper story to the cloisters. Then a Baroque facade was designed and added at the beginning of the 18th century. The chapel is most known for its distinctive chimes which have been in place since 1695. Watchmaker Peter Newman constructed the set of chimes in 1694. They made it from 30 bells of differing sizes, including smaller and larger bells. On the axis of the cloister, beyond the Loreto Chapel may be viewed the pilgrimage church of the Nativity of Our Lord. It is one of the most impressive surviving Rococo interiors in Prague. Here, Baroque organ resound every Saturday afternoon during the regular concerts organized for visitors. The music indeed accompanies those who come to Loreto throughout their whole visit, every hour, the entire building comes alive with the tunes of a Czech Marian hymn Tizakrat Post Revue Tebi slash Hail Mary Thousand Times slash produced by the Caroline Mechanism. And during feasts, the local organists play, on the carillon keyboard, the spiritual music compositions. At the end of the tour, the visitors come to the treasury, where the considerable part of the famous Loreto treasure is exhibited. Beside the St. Vitus Cathedral treasure, it is the most valuable ecclesiastical treasure in the Czech Republic. It is dominated by the Diamond Monstrance, also known as the Prague Sun created at the end of the 17th century in Vienna with the use of unbelievable 6222 diamonds. Since the foundation of Loretta, the Capuchin brothers, whose convent with the Church of the Holy Angel Virgin is situated in the neighborhood, have taken care of Loretto's sanctuary and of the pilgrims. The Prague Loretto is a remarkable Baroque historic monument, a place of pilgrimage with captivating history. The expansive decorative frontal facade with a clock tower, from which the Loretto Carillon tunes may be heard every hour shall certainly not go unnoticed by any local or foreign visitor passing here on his or her way to the Prague Castle. It would, however, be a great pity to enjoy only this picturesque view opening before us from the terrace of the Cherenin Palace. Those who descend as far as the Loreto Square and pass through the Loreto Gate will be pleasantly surprised by the place of pilgrimage disposition. We are convinced they will appreciate everything of interest that is to be seen here. Only when we walk through the frontal building, we shall find ourselves next to the Loreto itself. That is the Loreto Chapel proper, the so-called Santa Casa or Holy House. It is a copy of the Holy House of Nazareth worshipped in the Italian Loreto as a place in which the miracle of incarnation had occurred. Here, Archangel Gabriel announced to the Virgin Mary she would conceive and become the mother of Jesus, the Son of God, marking his incarnation. Lavishly decorated with reliefs on the outside after the Italian prototypes, is a spiritual center of the entire place of pilgrimage. Standing freely in the courtyard area, it is surrounded by a storied cloister with corner chapels.